No. No, buddy. No. That's not... Ah. Hey. <laughs> I said no. And it's definitely not a match made in heaven. And let go of my hand. Buddy. No. Wait. Wait. When Phil and Sarah met through an online dating site, they immediately bonded over their love of dogs. Come on. So a few months before tying the knot, what better way to celebrate their love than to get a dog of their very own? Slow down. And along came Buddy. I wanted a small dog, I suppose. I wanted the little lap dog for me. My little friend that I could go on walks with, cuddle up with and watch the telly. My little baby, I suppose. But the honeymoon period didn't last long. No, I haven't touched her yet. As little baby Buddy... <laughs> became a no, green-eyed monster. Nah. Oh. The moment where I may just literally touch Sarah on the knee and then that is it. No, you don't even have to touch a knee. No. If it gets near, he's all ready to attack. Stop it. You touch her or her touch you, I'm going to bite you. <laughs> no. Lee. It's as if it's jealousy. You all right? All right. How are you doing? Not bad. With Buddy poised to pounce as soon as the couple make contact... No. Ah, Buddy. Oh, These no. newlyweds now can't do anything no. together. No. No. You could be in the kitchen without cuddle, anything. Oh, yes. Uh, any, yeah. any connection he sees when it's me and you, he really doesn't like it. Buddy. No. We well, can't even cuddle standing up, either, can't, can't cuddle. We? He'd be hanging off your clothes. Yep. Buddy. No. No, come on, that's enough. It's enough. We're not relaxing, but he's certainly not either. It's like he's a, a guard dog, but he's guarding us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Rather than bringing this couple closer together, marriage wrecker Buddy's driving them apart. Bud. Let go. Ah. Leave. It's like having a parent telling you that you can't sit with your boyfriend. Away. Away. No. 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 Hey. No. It makes us very stressed and angry and we just want to relax. We just no. want a calm night in front of the telly. As a family, not having to fight a dog every night because he seems to think he's in control. Can Graham get this marriage back on track? I've worked with loads of couples in my career that are getting bitten by their dog, and, uh, and, and it has a big effect on you because, you know, you're living under the threat of that all the time. It just wears you down. And in the end, you get to a stage where, you know, you just can't think clearly. You can't see the wood for the trees. Um, and you just need perhaps a bit of help. I am excited for Graham to come, but I'm not 100% convinced that he's going to be able to sort him. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Everything crossed. <laughs> Good morning, Graham. How are morning. you? Good morning. Very well, thank you. Come in. Yes. Morning. Morning. Hello, Sarah. This, this is Buddy Graham. Hello, Buddy. The mischief. Oh, he's a live wire, isn't he? Hello. He just. Within seconds. Ah! Don't bite my feet. No. Buddy the biter. Buddy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No. Is living up to his name. Buddy. Come on, that's enough. He's straight back at you, isn't he, every time? Yeah. <sighs> ah. Bud. Ah. Uh. No. Hurts. No. So what have you tried to do to stop it then? We've tried ignoring him. OK. Which isn't easy when he's got his teeth in my feet. Don't bite my feet. That's enough. <laughs> I said that's enough. So I'll go sit over here. Oh, really? And then, yeah. And then he'll come sit, because then he's happy. What, because you're apart? Yeah. Ah. Well, this poor couple can't even settle down in their own home. They can't relax and just watch the telly like normal people. Phil and Sarah are literally being driven apart by their own dog. You know, you think he wants to split you up yeah, all the time. He's not trying to split you up because he hates it when you're together. He loves it when you're together. He comes to nip, 
And what's your response? Well, your hands move everywhere. Yeah. It's like, listen, ooh, you know, and all of this. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> so he does it again, yeah? Or yeah. you're pushing him off. He thinks it's a bit of a game. But it's kind of tipped over a bit, because now he expects to play the game. Not, yeah. I like it if you wouldn't mind. It's like, no, you will play with me. I'm happy that he's not jealousy because I'd, obviously he's not trying to separate us. I totally understand now what Graham said about it'll be the big game. With all the arms and hands flying around, I just didn't realise that. It hadn't dawned on me. Graham's confident he can restore marital bliss and has a tantalising technique to nip Buddy's biting in the bud. So we'll bring him in. If he revs himself up, it's just like, right, OK, you're out, you've lost your privilege. Yeah. 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 If he sounds quiet, OK, you can come back in. And I'm not going to hang around, because I want to make that immediate connection. Nice and black and white. I nip him out, I'm calm, I'm back in. Yeah. Sounds straightforward, but will Buddy let the couple cuddle up without his gnashes coming out? Oh, here we go. Oh, I don't like that. Right, come on. You're blowing it. Come on. No, sorry, mate, you're out. Come on. That's it. He's tapping at the door, so not yet. It can't now, look. Got it. Try again. Good boy, hello. So every time he comes back in, in effect, you're saying, right, let's press the reset button, try again. Yeah. Good boy. It's worked for Graham, but will Phil be able to keep Buddy's biting at bay? Ah. Right, take him out. Go on, then. Come on. Just go. That's it. That's it. Hold on. He's quiet, isn't he? Yeah, he is, yeah. Let him back in. Phil has no trouble getting the point to sink in. There he is. Good boy. Right, OK. Boy. But when Buddy gets mouthy with Sarah... Ah, now then. Did you see what you nearly did there? You nearly, you nearly reverted to... Ooh, 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 She's ooh. sending out mixed messages. I didn't know whether to grab the lead. Ah, right. I didn't know what, whether to go no. Yeah. <laughs> and when Buddy tries ah. it on again... Ah. That's it. Well done. You see, he's trying to fight it. That's it. And out. Shut the door. She knows exactly what to do. Good lad, come back in. Come on, buddy. Good boy, hello. With the message now loud and clear, Buddy has learned that he can only spend time with Mum and Dad if he behaves nicely. No, ah, buddy. And the dog that was desperate to keep them apart is now happy to share a cuddle with them both together. Absolutely amazing because he's now what I originally wanted him to be like. Mm. Affectionate, cuddly, chilled and relaxed with us, really. Yeah, so we can relax. Yeah. Yeah. We've been married for three months, so I can actually sit next to my husband. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be lovely. You know what to do going forward, so um, I shall leave you in peace. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you much. much. You're welcome. Bye, buddy. <laughs> so, they can now enjoy their honeymoon period, married life together. I wish them all the best. Good boy.